UCLA has a, a proud tradition in, in transplantation and the first kidney transplants were done in the mid-60s and we've now done uh, over 7,000 kidney transplants at UCLA. Uh, we're currently doing consistently over 300 transplants per year, so that's one of the largest programs yeah. in the country. I'm just going to mark your left side to identify that we're going to be putting your kidney on the left side. Okay. okay. We're very proud of the fact that uh, we have a, a team of physicians that works very closely together here at UCLA. This includes the surgeons, the nephrologists, and medical experts including cardiology and infectious disease and particularly our immunogenetics group that helps us to look at the, the risks of rejection in our patients. All of us working together have been able to reduce the complications and extend the long-term uh, results that we have in our transplant population. Well, we've been, always been proud of our kidney outcome results. Our results have been very good for many, many years, actually. Uh, this year, it turned out that our outcome results measured by how, how, what percentage of the kidneys are still functioning three years after the transplant, we're, we're, our outcome results were the best in the country. And we are really very proud of that. I really think that uh, successful transplantation, the essence of successful transplantation is teamwork. And, and we have a fabulous team. We have superb surgeons, my colleagues, who it's a delight to work with, absolutely superb. We have wonderful transplant physicians. Um, uh, we have superb nurses, nurse coordinators, wonderful support staff, a very stable, highly motivated uh, uh, staff of professionals. And we work in an environment, this wonderful hospital, where the administration supports us, understands the value and importance of the work we're doing. Most people don't know that they have kidney failure until it's at a very late stage. The most common symptom is that they're short of breath, but most people actually find out about this when they go to the doctor and they have a blood test done. Um, as the kidneys fail, you may not be able to get rid of the waste, and so you become more and more tired. Uh, you may also find it difficult to breathe. So oftentimes you're left with two choices, either to start dialysis or to proceed with a kidney transplant. Most people with advanced kidney failure or on dialysis machines can go about their lives, but it's hard for them. Often they don't feel well, they may feel tired and fatigued, and life is often a struggle for them. Um, getting a transplant is really a, a new lease on life for many patients, a kidney transplant. They feel normal, basically. They feel normal. They think normally. They can lead active, full lives in many respects, in terms of work and travel, have babies, father children, have pregnancies. They can go about a normal life. Now, they do have to take medicines, and they do have to have medical follow-up. So their lives are not totally normal, but most of them feel as if they've been given a new lease of life. One of the most rewarding things about being a transplant surgeon is that uh, if we do a successful kidney transplant, it makes a dramatic difference in the way people feel and uh, the quality of their life. We know that there are many people out there with kidney disease of different degrees that are not recognized. Particularly people who have diabetes or high blood pressure or obesity or family histories of kidney disease. We would strongly recommend anyone who may be at risk for kidney disease or think they may be at risk for kidney disease because of diabetes, because of high blood pressure, because of kidney disease in the family, to go to their doctors to get checked out. Because that would give us the opportunity to identify any causes of kidney disease, to do what we can to prevent, to reverse kidney, kidney disease, or to prevent progression of kidney disease. So the best solution to the organ donor shortage, really, if there is a solution, would be to prevent kidney disease in the first place.